Next on Comcast Newsmakers, a new approach at the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center in Seattle to fighting cancerous tumors. Details coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are at the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center in downtown Seattle. And joining me right now is Dr. Stan Riddell, who is an immunologist, researcher, and oncologist here at Fred Hutch. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us here on the program. Thank you, Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Before we talk about your work as a immunologist. I want to back up a little bit and talk about bone marrow transplantation because I know that has greatly influenced your work. So what is the connection there? So the connection really is, uh, well, first of all, I think um, many of you probably know that the Hutchinson Center is, is really famous for developing bone marrow transplantation. Dr. Uh, Donald Thomas developed this in the 70s and 80s. And um, it was interesting because at the time what we were trying to do was to use very high doses of chemotherapy and radiation and then transplant bone marrow from an, a, a donor to cure leukemias. And um, that approach worked uh, quite well. Um, in fact, uh, this year the millionth person worldwide has received a transplant. Um, and this really, uh, we train most of the people that are doing transplants around the world uh, here at the center uh, and really disseminated this approach. But what we learned from this over the years was that um, it actually wasn't so much the chemotherapy and radiation that was curing the leukemia, it was a reaction between the donor's immune system and the patient's leukemia. So it was the donor's immune system that was really eliminating those last leukemia cells. Um, and that proved very important for new developments in transplantation by Dr. Storb here at the center where we now use much lighter doses of chemotherapy and radiation. But for those of us that were working on tumor immunology, we started to realize that maybe we could find ways of identifying targets on the patient's cancer and using the patient's own immune system to treat their tumors. So the bone marrow transplantation was really critical to influence our thinking around that idea. And so how does this work? Well, so um, what it's really evolved over the last uh, really two decades now, we, we've been working on this for a very long period of time. And, and first, the first thing we had to do was discover the differences between cancer cells and normal cells, things that we could target immunologically. Um, and then we had to discover ways of doing it. So one way of doing it is to use an antibody that would bind to the surface of the cancer cell and, and eliminate it. Um, and that's actually largely been developed by pharmaceutical companies. So uh, companies like Genentech and, and many others have developed uh, antibodies that are broadly used now, and they're actually the largest selling oncology drugs. We focused on T cells. The, they're uh, a certain cell type in the immune system, and they work by a completely different mechanism than antibodies. They actually bind to the cancer cell and they destroy it. Um, and T cells are also long-lived, so if you get a T cell response to the cancer, it will actually be a, give a long-lasting anti-tumor effect. Uh, so uh, that's our approach and we've now developed that approach to the point that we've identified many targets on cancer cells. We actually have uh, been able to isolate T cells that see those and even more importantly now we can isolate the receptors that are on the T cells that recognize the tumor. So we can essentially now have those receptors as off-the-shelf reagents um, that we can use genetic engineering approaches to introduce them into T cells, and then we can grow the cells up and transfer them into the patient. We've also started to design uh, a new class of receptors that are synthetic receptors that are even not found in nature. They actually take the power of an antibody and they link it to the signaling properties of a T cell. And these receptors can also be introduced. And we now are in clinical trials with both of these approaches. Um, and, and they're showing really exciting and promising results. Dr. Rodell, we're almost out of time. Just quickly, it, certain kinds of cancer this works on? Well, right now we're focusing on leukemias and lymphomas. But we do think that this approach can be broadly applied um, to many cancers. We have uh, projects now that are starting. They're still in the laboratory in lung cancer. The clinical trials are only in leukemia and lymphoma. But we do think that within uh, a couple of years, we'll actually have uh, early trials in lung cancer and breast cancer. Dr. Riddell, thank you so much. Thanks thank for you. watching Comcast News Makers.